buying a pineapple. That's it? Yes. Oh, when were you planning on eating it? After I blotted out the sun! <laughs> that was my lightning noise. Ow! Ow! Seriously, are you okay? Of course! Why wouldn't I be okay? <laughs> Don't tell Master Yo! Mmm! Yummy dinner, Master Yo! It is at that! It's a wonder what you can do with just a telephone, a credit card, a takeout menu, and a bucket load of indifference. Ow! What's wrong with him? He... a chew! His mouth... What chew! He's in pain because... Ah, uh, say another word and Teddy Bubbins down and gets it! Chew! He's fine! Fine, I say! We're going to bed now. Yes, suddenly I'm, uh, very tired. And thus, I return to my indifference. Oh. Yang, did you brush your teeth like Master Yo said? Of course I did. What makes you think I didn't? Hey, do you mind shutting that? It's drafty in here. Holy mother of folk! Yang, you need to see a dentist. No! Yin! I've defeated villains ten times my size! I helped stop a great and looming evil! But if there's one thing I'm afraid of, it's the dentist! They're evil! Evil, I say! They're not evil, Yang. Yes, they are. Who chooses a career jabbing needles into a person's mouth? They do it out of love. A love of evil! Promise me you won't tell Master Yu about this? Do you promise? From zero to tattle in five seconds flat. Thanks a lot, Yin. In a world of chaos and disarray, brother and sister save the day. Yin, yang, yo. Ding, yang, yo. Ding, yang, yo. Yin, yang, yo. Ding, yang, yo. She did it! Yin is skilled in the mystic ways, knocking out spells and energy rays. Yang kicks butt with the cheek. Ooh, wah. I chop, I slam, I blah, blah, blah. Talk like a dude named Master Yo. From head to toe, in a world of chaos and disarray, it's brother and sister who save the day. With might and magic, work as one, a villain's plan can be undone. Coming, mother. This is why I don't wear pants. From zero to tattle in five seconds flat. Thanks a lot, Yin. You should thank your sister, Yang. Why, if you don't take care of your mouth, all sorts of things can happen. So I get a couple of cavities and my breath gets a little bad and I meet some guy named Jim Javitis and it'll up my chances of a heart attack. Other than that... Ow! What's the big deal? It's not just cavities. Man, all that other stuff. If you neglect your dental hygiene, you could end up with a severe case of wild hair tooth. <laughs> What the heck is that? Trust me, you don't want to find out, which is why we're going to the dentist. I'm warning you, any mention of any kind of dental technique, and I'm gonna freak out. I don't mean to kneel you, but it's like pulling teeth to drill this into your brain cavity. I've got a feeling this problem is gonna build up if we don't get to the root. Freaking out! See ya! Worst parental advice ever? I suppose I could have chosen my words more wisely. Oh! Ow! So what's so bad about this wild hair tooth, Master Yo? What's it gonna do to Yang? Well, first he'll be overwhelmed by the agonizing pain. Ah! Agony! Agony! Neat! Then he'll probably experience a violent convulsion. Also neat! No! What's happening? What's happening? Don't look at me! Don't look at me! He'll grow big, lofty. And a fluffy cotton tail. <gasps> Yay! Fluffy! Then he'll get all loony and lose every single one of his inhibitions and have the sudden urge to live in a hole and eat carrots all day. Man, what's happening, general practitioner of medicine? Where the heck is he gonna do that around here? It's a strange and magical ailment. We have to find it before he's too far gone. <laughs> Why does it seem so familiar? Carol! I'm hungry! Can it wait? I'm watching this 
Kids cartoon from way back when firearms were non-lethal. How the heck are they gonna shoot anyone with a cork in the muzzle? That's just crazy. <laughs> well, that won't get me the non-move food rabbit stew I'm arbitrarily craving. And it won't get you with the few precious moments of mother love I'll grant you if you get it for me! <sighs> I'll go get my hunting gear. Although I do get to wear my new hunting outfit, which is nice. Musical boots. Two of my favorite things rolled into one. Whee! Who knew? <laughs> uh... What's up, dork? I'm hunting non-woofoo rabbit for my mother's dinner. Ooh, do tell. A non-woofoo rabbit? What's it look like? Well, it has long ears. Like this? Yeah, and big uh, buck teeth. Like this? Uh, yeah, and it eats carrots. Like this? Yeah, just like that. Does it also karate kick you in the pants? Well, no. Ah! Well, three and a four ain't bad. <laughs> Say, you don't suppose that was the rabbit? Gee, you think? <laughs> Of course you know, this requires a protracted battle. Yang! Yang, are you here? He must have gone full tilt wild hair. Can he be cured? Gobble, 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 gobble. Yeah, but we've got to find him first. You'd bet your dipstick. Be careful. It gets a little weird in this neck of the woods. <laughs> hey there, buckethead and floaty ears. Dipstick drumstick at your service, son. Say, that's a right pretty coat of fur you got. But you got a little goof on you, boy. Where? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck did that mean? How's the wife, dipstick? Yeah, I haven't seen her since Thanksgiving. <laughs> Oh, dear. Uh, said, uh, fortunately, I keep my hair follicles numbered for, uh, just such a moment in time. <clears throat> what do you know? It really works. Did I just say wabbit? Why would I say wabbit? Oh, what's wrong with me? Still no sign of yang. Uh -huh. Maybe we should ask that flamingo. Excuse me, but you haven't seen a blue buck-toothed rabbit around here, have you? Uh -huh. Watch out for what? Supplies, press one for bombs, press two for rocket boots, press three for anvils. You selected rocket boots. Come back here, you nutty rabbit! My mother will have the hastily prepared rabbits too she so arbitrarily deserves. No oh boy, what's the point of this? Okay, this is officially worse than going to the dentist. If only I listened to Yin and Master Yo, I wouldn't be in this predicament. Wait, Yin? Master Yo? Are you trying to tell me that you're... Yang! Thank goodness we found you. And while we're at it, we can also thank these Apex rocket boots and this fox, who clearly can't take a punch. First the luck! My mother specifically wanted a non woo foo rabbit for dinner. But on the other hand, I have one of my greatest enemies simmering in a nice boiling stew pot of doofus. He was gonna say doofus, right? He's such a dork roach, he doesn't even realize that this water is ice cold. What? How could that be? That water is clearly boiling hot! Cold! Hot! Cold! Hot! No, dude, it's cold! Hot! Hot! Cold! Hot! Cold! Hot! Cold! Hot! Cold! And I'll prove it to you. Hello! This isn't cold at all! You can say that again, genius! Oh my gosh, yay! Did you just defeat Carl?
Mara by being clever? Yes. And frankly, it's giving me a headache. Not to mention, these huge teeth are really annoying. Don't worry about that. There's one known cure for wild hair tooth. Well, whatever it is, it can't be worse than this. Bring it on. <laughs> no offense, but I think you look really dorky. <laughs> and I think you need to see a dentist. Oh, come on. You don't expect me to really say it, do you? Okay, that's all. Wow. Do we have cautious lawyers or what? Hello, everyone. We're TV's Yin and Yang. You may know us from the program you just watched and the made-for-TV movie, Tears of a Dove. You know, Yin, we had a lot of fun at the expense of dentists today. But tooth decay is no laughing matter! Dozens of teeth are left mouthless every year. The truth is... Most dentists aren't evil, Yin. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Ah! So remember, if your teeth hurt, see a dentist. Don't blame a dentist. That's right, because mostly it's your fault. That's right. Good night, everybody. I'm not trying to blot out the sun like I said in the previous episode when I was stealing the pineapple. Does everybody remember? You're just trying to steal Roach Lahoma? It could be worse. I could be illegally downloading my musicals. Ugh. I hate that new invisibility power. Hi! What the heck was that, Yin? I. I was distracted by that. Weird cheering. <laughs> it's for us. Here, let me sign that for you. How do you spell you? Oh. <laughs> um, why are you still here? I was going to spell Yang. Y A N G. That hurts. I never got to use fame to meet a girl. Any last words before I pop in the DVDs and do a little two-step on your graves, hmm? Yo. Yo, back at the sweet cake. No, no, no. Yo. Ah! Open your eyes, bro. He's not going away. What's the matter with you two? You could have been killed. Or we could have been cheered. Or... True heroes don't showboat, kids. That's a novice woo-foo mistake, and you'll get your belts back when you learn that. Hey! You're taking our belts away? This is why I don't wear pants. Ah! Every time I get close to beating them, they end up scurrying to the safety of their dojo. What I need is a way to steal that dojo from them and kick their butts while distracting them at the same time! But how? 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 Sir, that magic remote you sent out to get fixed after episode one is back. excellent -oo. If they like an audience so much, Let's see how they like it when I take their stupid dojo away from them in front of one! It's a sweet and fine world of yin and yang Two kids, one life, and the whole shebang When things get rough, you know where to hang It's a sweet and fine world of yin and yang Week. This butt kicking will take place in front of a live studio audience. Morning, Yang. Morning, Yang. Nice face. Lose a bet. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Corky and I are gonna go to sneak into the movies. Wanna come? Even though I don't know anyone named Corky? I can't, Yang. The cutest guy ever just checked into room 17, and I'm gonna pretend to be a princess from a foreign country so he'll notice me, which is not only the dumbest plan ever, but really boy crazy, even for me. You could let one rip, he'd notice you then. <laughs> Man, I'm killing here. And these aren't even my best slams. You have good ones? <laughs> okay, now that's totally weird. I'm killing here. Our second clue that something is wrong. Master Yo! Talk to the paw, cause the bear ain't listening. You have a catchphrase? Since when do you have a catchphrase? Since you've been zapped into my sitcom by me, Carl the Evil Cockroach. Landlord! Evil cockroach landlord? Like the jumpsuit? 
Isn't it nice? And if you don't pay the rent by six tonight, I will own the dojo. Um, I mean, uh, oh, hotel. Uh, or whatever it is. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure that's not how the whole landlord thing really works. It's a dumb sitcom. You gotta play by dumb sitcom rules. Don't you know anything? How do we know we're trapped in a dumb sitcom? <laughs> We now return to the sweetified world of Yin and Yang. Seriously? You came back after the commercial? Man, I'd have been gone. Hey, Yang! <laughs> we love you, Car King! We gotta enter the mule races. First prize is the world's largest pie. Huh? Huh? Wanna join? Wanna join? <laughs> Woo! Already signed you up. And it looks like we have a wacky neighbor. Are you Corky? Yep, doodle. I hate you already! <laughs> Big bucket of shut up! <laughs> We love you, Yang! Although, I could get used to that. Oh, think you could get used to that, too? That's it, Carl! Pause! Oh, hey! <laughs> we love you, Yang! Thank you! I'll be here all week! Way to eat pole, Yang, but lunch is at noon. <laughs> <laughs> you like me! You really, really like me! Not so great to be playing to an audience now, is it? And remember, at 6 o'clock, if you don't have the money, I own the dojo. Good luck getting your act together until then, Paul. Hey, I could get used to this. Sitcom rules are stupid. How do we get out of this? Haven't you two learned yet? Yes, the sweetified world of Yin and Yang will return after this message. And don't come out until this room is spotless. Aww. Rashberry fruit wads make every job fun. Ready to clean that room now? No, but you are. <gasps> Rashberry fruit wads make any job fun. Keep scrubbing. <laughs> hey, that commercial cut me off. I wish you had commercials all the time. Talk to the pot. If the sweetified world of Yin and Yang will return, that's it. The elderly comic relief is out of here. But how do we raise enough money to save the dojo tell thing by six? Time to open a Corky's famous lemonade stand. Run by me, Corky. <laughs> we love you, Corky. Wow, that is stupid. But stupid works on a show like this. Yang. You start a newspaper to get the word out, while I throw a huge benefit concert to raise money. What? Yin, we're in a dumb sitcom. We don't have the budget for a live concert. Yeah, I know. Watch this. Wow! That was the most amazing benefit concert we could never afford to film ever. Extra, extra, read all about it. Concert raises enough money to save Dojo. And Yang gives up fake convenient newspaper business. Ow! Right in the personals. Hey, hey, hey! Who's red and brown and evil all over? <laughs> I'm the villain they love to hate. So, you raised the money? That's right. It's sitcom rules. And since we're the stars of this show, we're going to win every time. The audience loves us. You're right. So let's zippity zip to next week's episode. Wee! In and yay! Yep, still weak. The, the money's, money's gone! gone! Because it's a new episode. And if you don't pay the rent by six tonight, I will own the dojo. Um, I mean, a uh, oh, hotel uh, or whatever it is. We're not afraid of you. The audience loves us. Did I mention I have a spunky child sidekick? Uh, say hello, spin-off. Yeah. Yeah, that's the love me. <laughs> nice catchphrase, don't you think? Yeah, and it's so dumb I want to eat my own face off sort of way. You don't love me? Yep, spin off's the perfect replacement as you get older and uglier and and don't win every time! You fiend! It'll never happen! Hey guys, I just won the coconut lottery! <laughs> See, meanwhile, it's time for a very special episode. Where the landlord destroys you and finally gets his mother to love him! Hey, where's the ah? Uh... Take this! Jin? Yes, Yang? I know times look tough. Yeah. I know the dawn is dark and the dogs are at the door. I know. With dog sticks? Yeah. And dog zookas? Uh-huh. In the dark? They are. Like I said. Like you said. But I'm gonna do what heroes always do in times of trouble. What's that, Yang? Make a big, long speech! Oh, wait. That was the speech. Okay. So, let's go out there and kick some butt butt! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! There you go! Ah! Master Yo was right. 
I guess that's what we get for showboating. But Carl's having it up worse than we are. <laughs> Talk to the park, cause the bear ain't listening! That's the love me! Woo! What the? Get out of there! We have to get that remote! But how do we get it? How? How? Hey, gang! I found this great old delivery man outfit! <gasps> Wanna pull a prank on old landlord Carl? <laughs> Telegram for Carl, the evil cockroach landlord! Yes, I'm Carl. Dear sir, you are the winner of the Million Coconut Lottery. Nice. To claim your prize, just turn in your magical remote control to the delivery man. Come on! That's lame-brained even for this show! What? You, you think I should, should do it? They love you, Carl. Okay, okay, all right! Here's the remote! Give me what I deserve! Here you go, guys! From Corky to you! something good. Wait. You got to love me. Say goodbye, Carl. Goodbye, Carl. Shut up. Well, I guess your kids earned your bounce back. Yeah. I just want to let someone else get all the attention now. Raspberry fruit wads make any job fun. They do not. They 